In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how I did this slime fluid simulation with X particles. First, let's create a surface to collide with our fluid. Add a cube, make it big enough. Here I'm going to put 200 centimeters on the X by 200 centimeters on the Z. Make it thinner on the Y to act like a plane. So put one centimeter here. Let's add an XP system. Go to the Insidium tab, X particles XP system. Here on our XP system, Click on our emitter and change the emitter shape on the object tab. I want something more organic so I think that an ellipse shape will be better. Rotate it 90 degrees so it faces the ground and change the radius as well. I've put 2.5 centimeters and 1.5 centimeters. Now if I hit play, these particles are emitting from that shape. So we need our ground to collide with our fluid. For this we have to put a collider tag on the cube. Right click on it, extensions, insidium tags, XP collider. Change the bounce to 30% and the friction to 60% to have the fluid stick to the floor. Play the simulation to see what we have now. We can see that our particles are now colliding with the ground but it doesn't look like liquid yet. To do so, we have to make our particles dynamic so they can collide with each other. Go to the Dynamics folder here. Under the Dynamics Objects, choose XP Fluid FX. Play the simulation, and now we have something more like a fluid, liquid behavior. Also change the accuracy here to high. Now we need gravity, so go to the Modifiers folder under the Motion Modifiers. Choose the XP gravity. Our scene here is quite small, so we have to decrease the gravity. Let's make it 10 times smaller. Hit play and see what we got. As you can see, it's exploding a bit, so we need to go back to our emitter and tweak some settings. Go to the emission tab, change the birth rate to 5000, the speed to 40 centimeters, and the radius to 0.2 centimeters. Now we can add some movement to our emitter. We can use a vibrate tag to do that. Right click on the emitter, animation tags, vibrate. Check the enable box here and put five here and two here. Change the seed here and find the one you like. Also decrease the frequency to 0.8. To increase the simulation accuracy, let's hit Ctrl plus D to bring up the dynamic settings. Go to the X Particles tab, increase the subframe steps here to 5. Also to make the simulation more viscous, go to the emitter here. Under Extended Data, go to Physical Data and modify the friction to 70% and the bounce to 10%. Next go to the Fluid Data here and modify viscosity to 800. Next, we have to change our particles to a mesh surface. To do so, let's go here on the Generators folder and choose the XP Open VDB Mesher. Refer our emitter, so drag it here. Change the voxel size to 0.3. Now we have a mesh, so we can modify it. Go to the Filters tab here. Check Use Filters. Keep the median at 100. Add a Gaussian and put it at 45. Finally, add a Laplacian at 100%. You can now cache to simulation. Simply go to the Utilities folder and choose the XP cache. Choose your folder where you want your simulation to be stored and hit the Build Cache button here. It's better to cache your simulation before you mesh it. It will be faster. So that's it for this tutorial. 
I hope you have learned something today and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.